and gents, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're here with another lock video. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button right now. I'll wait for you. I show you the video. Alright, good. The video is about the benefits of not retwisting your locks, okay? I haven't retwisted in three months. Believe you when I tell you, I feel like my hair, it had a break. I left my hair alone and I let it did what it had to do. Today is the first time I say, you know what, let me do a braid out. So I did a braid out on my hair and if you want to know how to do that, give me a video, I'll pin it to the comment. And I'll also link it down in the description. Let's talk about why I did it. I did it to give my scalp a break. I was tired of the tension, tired of the bothering it. Locks is something that you're supposed to do naturally. Although my hair has its challenges that I'm facing right now with um, length and everything, I wanted to just leave it alone, give it a break. I found twisting to be a benefit instead of a loss. That makes your locks thick and full. Now, if you're into that neat type of look, this video won't be for you. But if you're into that natural process and you're learning your hair and you're trying to figure out what you want to do with it this video is for you when i tell you my locks thicken up my roots start growing healthy my hair feels lighter my hair feels better only thing i did do every other week was separate it so it doesn't join up together you know that was the only thing that i did otherwise i gave my scalp and my hair a break i was able to properly moisturize my hair because now my roots have grown out so my fingers are able to get in the scalp as you can see it's able to get in the root and roast moisturize properly sometimes I believe that's what our scalp needs our scalp needs a little bit of tender care all that pulling and retwisting and styling I always say I believe every time I get my hair done and I still go ahead and get done anyway but I'm not meant to be worn up or in styles because the minute I get that style is cute for two days and the third day I'm ready to take it out literally and I sure it ain't only me who is going through that I sure you guys is going through that too I am positive I believe the locks are not supposed to be in the style and I believe now that the, our hair was just meant to be free every time I put my hair in a style I take it out within three days or a week's time because it, it's too much tension, it's too much tension, it's too much tension. Even if it's slack or up, even if I put it up in one for too long, I want it out. So drop down in the comments if you are going through the same thing. Confidence. As I said in my one year lock journey, lock is about having confidence. While you're on your journey, you build up confidence within yourself. Because you're now embracing your natural self. You're now seeing your hair for what it is. And you have to be confident within yourself to know that you are beautiful, you are wonderful, and you are wonderfully made. Okay, I'm more confidence because I was able to wear my head up high, my locks up loose, no style, no touching, no pulling, no nothing. I was, I was up here. Okay, <laughs> I still up here. Like it was nothing. Like confidence, you love yourself even more. You embrace your journey because you don't let nobody dictate to you and tell you what you should do. You just embrace. Speak affirmations to yourself too because there are going to be days when your confidence isn't going to be up sky 100. But you have to speak to yourself. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful within my natural self. I love my hair. I love how it's growing. I love what it's doing. You speak that in yourself and then it becomes you. It becomes a part of your thinking. Motivational things that I was saying to myself while embracing this three month no retwist product free chemical free not everything free nothing free nothing was going in my hair i didn't know once i have to do a super duper wash and a super duper acv but product free, free. loose i was loose like, I wasn't worrying about no chemicals, I wasn't worrying about nothing other than lint. Lint, you're a bad person. Lint, you a bad person. But I got a satin cap and scarf now, so I'll be using that. And it started to grow more. As you all know, I have 4C hair. And I'm also 
dealing with thin edges however i'm using the jamaican back castor oil and it's growing it out actually i didn't put no edge control on it within the three months of no resistance i just was oiling down it each night and hopefully in the next six months i see major results because i'm trying to stay away from the edge controls for now and also unless i have some but I'm trying to stay away from the edge with products on my side. They just will basically stick with oil. I noticed when I was in bothering my hair, it was when it started to grow. I feel as though we manipulate our hair too much. So that's why it's not growing like how it should. And the minute I leave it alone, it shoots up. That's another tip also. I think has saved me time, money. I don't know how to reach it my own hair yet. So I didn't have to go in the salon for three months. I didn't have to sit down and get my hair do. I didn't have to worry about the dryer. <laughs> you may have been in the dryer first. I didn't have to do nothing. I just was getting up and going. Getting up and going. Getting up and going. So I would encourage after a three month Obi twist break and you'll see the wonderful changes that happens while you're on your journey. This is the end of the video and it's also question time. So if you guys have any questions about it, link it down below. Also, feel free to comment how your not retwisting process was going or if you would ever do it. So thank you guys so much for watching.